This is part 26 of A Link Between Worlds. In this part, we're going to be finishing off uh, Thieves Hideout and getting two really useful items along the way. But we'll uh, we'll mention those when we oh, get to them. Though. What's the other one? Oh, I guess we'll mention <laughs> them when we get there. Well, I, I don't know which other one you're talking about, actually. We literally just talked about it, but we will spoil yeah. the surprise for you. Are we talking about the big key? No. <laughs> oh, well, you know what we'll talk about when we get there then, apparently, because I don't know what other th item you're thinking of. Well, anyway, getting back on well, track. I'm glad I was listening to you before this video. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, in, uh, getting back on track here, you mentioned, yeah. you mentioned uh, in the last part how you liked that there was like water in this one room. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just like so many other areas where there's water, we had to drain it to like get to the next part of this room. I thought having water in this dungeon... Uh, I just liked it I didn't see it coming. Yeah. Like, at all. Like, you know, just like all of a sudden just water appeared, uh, appeared so... <laughs> We're struggling already. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, you know, it's not, it's not the first video we've ever struggled on, so... No, definitely those, not. Those Zazaks bothered me a little bit right there. They got in your head. And that's actually... I did not mean to merge into the wall right there, but if you actually do that, that takes... Like, you know how you got to separate from a uh, thief girl? If yeah. you merge into the wall, that also actually separates you right it's there. It's easier so than talking to her, I didn't mean to do it, but, you know, it actually does work, too. I love that little cinematic there with the hallway going all the way back Agreed. to it. reveal the first piece of Master Oil. Yeah, uh -huh. That we're gonna get, and that's that's one of two reasons why I tackled this dungeon for uh, first. Yep, and that's kind of like a strategy we'll go by. Um, that master or it helps improve your master sword. It takes two pieces. Like, yep, you get two pieces that we'll go ahead and say to get the temper sword, and then another two pieces to get the uh, golden sword. Yep, and so the first uh, there's three of them in a dungeon, and there's one outside of a dungeon. We're gonna get all four of those. Yeah, as and our strategy as was to get those as quick as possible to get the best sword in the game. So that's kind of the strategy we'll be using in the first uh, four dungeons, actually, because yeah. there's an item in one of the dungeons to get the one outside <laughs> the dungeon. So yeah, believe it or not, take it, take it away, Red. Yeah, I was gonna say, <laughs> believe it or not, there was a little method to our madness. Is there anything else you want to say? <laughs> no, I'm done with this part. But, uh, no, but that master ore is one of the two items I was referring to that we get in this dungeon. That uh, that one of the two interesting items we get. I guess you uh -huh. could say the master. Or is not really an item per se. No, I, no, I'm saying it's an item in this game. It's a very important item, actually. Yeah, and that's you know we had talked before about like kind of wanting to do the dungeons in a bit of a different order than uh -huh. what we saw in Link to the Past. But you know, uh, need dictates. And we, we kind of did a little bit. We do. Now, one thing to do right there is don't stand on that little platform <laughs> and hit that switch with an arrow because I actually did that the first time I played this that's game. That's too funny. I was like, huh? I wonder what this switch does. Yeah. Oh, bye bye. I really like though having a a that big of a trap door. I like we see mm -hmm. trap doors a lot in Zelda games, of course. But having one that's that all not that big. Yeah. Not we never seen one that big. It makes sense. That's, uh, like, that's like Castle Grayskull Grayskull <laughs> big. That's what that was. <laughs> it, it definitely made uh, it definitely made those guys easy to kill right like, there. I don't know group. if you ever had the uh, world. If you ever had the old Castle Grayskull uh yeah. the cast the actual toy Oh, oh God, yeah. trap door, and it was, you know, off topic. That is, so, that's okay. okay. Let's get back on topic. We, we've never been off topic in yeah, this exactly. game <laughs> I love how they bring the ba uh, the fans back right yes. there from House of Gales. It's a nice little throwback. It's, uh -huh. again, not an element that we see in many dungeons. Uh -huh. So it's nice to see it. I feel like Thieves Town kind of does a good job yeah. of, of throwing no, some interesting yeah, things. Going along with the water, exactly. The water and the fans, like, you do not see either of those elements coming in this dungeon or concepts that yeah. we use. Yeah. <laughs> But it does, I guess, kind of go along with that. Kind of just saying, basically, the same thing you just said, but yeah, I was does. reiterating what you just said. <laughs> For emphasis. Yeah, exactly. But it does go along with, like, we see all those uh, conveyor belts moving, so having another piece of technology like the fans, it's fitting. It, it, it matches. It, it feels uh, like it belongs. That's a very to good point right there, too. So. And since they're getting their power from City and Sky and everything, yeah. you know, fans <laughs> make sense, you know? <laughs> I'm with you. I'm with you. It's all that full circle. I, I went a little bit too far on that little um, <laughs> idea earlier. It's all good. It's all good. That's when you start thinking about Zelda a little bit too deep, and then yep. you're, you're like, what made sense to you eventually does not make sense anymore. <laughs> We've gone too far down the rabbit yeah. hole. Yeah. <laughs> now, I will say, this dungeon, I feel like, does emphasize combat more than puzzles there are some puzzles and everything but I feel mm -hmm. like the entire second half once we rescue thief girl we're fighting well, we're room. basically backtracking and we've hated really we've hated backtracking in a lot of dungeons we've complained about quite a bit but we do I actually liked it in this one because it felt like you still had a mission we got you just weren't like going back up there doing the same thing yeah doing stuff different we're with, trying to get her out with the door. girl yeah so there's a mission to it so backtracking was not as bad in this dungeon I will say the boss of the thieves here did not have a very good layout his 
main door <laughs> is right next <laughs> to the entrance to the dungeon. Uh-huh. And the key to get in there is in the same room. Yeah. <laughs> and it's, it's very just rare that we see the boss room right beside the entrance. Like, I think it's pretty cool. I don't know if that's ever even happened, to be honest with you. It reminds me a little bit of, and I'm going way back here, Ocarina of Time, when we first go into the Fire Temple... And like the very first room in the left, like that we go to, has the boss key and Darunia. Oh, that's there. right. Yeah, so, like very beginning of the dungeon. I remember that. And it uh-huh. takes us a long time to get back there. Yeah, but this boss right here, man. Oh my, stall blind. Yeah, stall blind. It might be. I don't know if it's my favorite boss. I'm not. He's up there. About my boss ranking. Yeah, but this boss is just awesome. He, I love. And you'll see us do it here in a second, merging into his shield. Uh, I think we've already done it, actually. Oh, we did. We did. Because we were not paying attention to the first part yeah. of the fight. But yeah, I think we already did it, but we definitely did it right there. But like, merging so. into his shield and like his reaction when he oh, can't his find you. His reaction is priceless. And I also love that I'm um, kind of different from Link to the Past. The girl did not turn into the boss, actually. Thank goodness. I, uh-huh. I, we did not need to be stabbed in the there's, back. There's, there's no light. There's no light in this place to make her go nuts. <laughs> no, no. But man, I, like, he finally is like, okay, I'm done with the shield. Yes, I like exactly. that. He's like, this is costing me I wish they would actually did more with that shield and like kind of merging right there. But, you know, I also love this part. And just the sound of his sword and like, when yep. it hits the ground. I just love that. Well, on top of that, and the cut marks that his sword yeah, leaves oh, on the ground. Point. It's just that's a, a good really... Point. And they only last for a second or two, of course. But uh-huh. it's just a really awesome little like just little effects that he has like just uh-huh. black marks in the ground and he just kind of looks cool like you know he looked a little bit scary actually which, yeah he does you know some of the bosses in this game um some of my in my opinion just aren't that very scary looking. I, I agree i agree that's just because maybe i'm tough and just not scared <laughs> you know but <laughs> but i mean of course stall blind of course is very similar to the blind blind the thief fight uh-huh. yes. from back in link to the past and again it's another throwback that i really like uh-huh. and i will say though dodging his like floating head here was a lot it's easier in this game. Well, in this game, it doesn't spit fireballs, which yeah. I kind of wish it would have. And then also in Link's the Past, there was three heads. Oh my god! Instead, gosh. just one, which we do know they make Zelda games and games in general a little bit easier Definitely. than they used to be. But still, I mean, with only your Master Sword, that's it's not a tough, boss. No, but it takes you a little bit longer with just your Master Sword. Yeah, once you upgrade the sword, uh, the boss fights feel uh-huh. a little bit true. easier. Definitely true, but just uh, that's like true. Said, like game, I, I don't know, like what I rank him as, but definitely a very fun boss. Fight. He's up there. He's up there with the uh, House of Gales boss. I you mean, know, just overall, I mean, we've already said we like this dungeon, but just. I mean, most people probably do play this one first or very yeah. early. Well, it's also just, the first area of low rule you just get true. into. It's just it's a very strong since we play first. It's just a very strong first dungeon in low rule. Agreed. And I like the music that they switch to after you kill the boss. It's like a much more peaceful, like mm-hmm. serene music, especially after the frantic music when we first uh, rescued uh-huh. Thief Girl. So it's just a, another nice little. And change. I can't believe this guy is great hide and seek. Like this oh, has got to be the best <laughs> hide spot ever right here. <laughs> Hmm, why are we going to hide it? Uh, how about right, right inside the dungeon? And apparently the door wasn't even locked because Thief Girl just opened the door and walked well, right in. No, I think actually if you walk around, that door is locked. Oh, probably. I think she, you know, I guess she had a key or something like that. But she's I, a thief. She probably picked the lock. I do think that door is locked. So, oh, that's a good point. But she it, probably did actually pick the lock. <laughs> it's not a very good hiding place. So, like you said, it's like it's the locked door right next to her. Yeah, <laughs> yeah right, right next to the boss, which is that boss like her... Actual boss. Well, that's what I I think it is because it's funny when we first go and talk to her. She even says like, uh, "I found out there's this painting. Yeah, I found out where he's hiding it. Yes, and my boss locked me up Mm -hmm. here. So I assume that that stall blind." Is the like boss of the uh-huh. thieves? Then we run, run, run into Osfala, which is a uh, sriracha sauce as a prince. <laughs> so I mean, like you know, this guy he studies a hero the whole time, and yeah, you know, sorry, buddy, you're only a sage. Which I don't know, it's really like you know, it's pretty I, good. I'd say it's a pretty cushy job. Yeah, to have. pretty consolation prize right there. I mean, he gets to sit here in this room the entire rest of the game while uh-huh. we're out there doing all the hard work. Now, go along with the master or another reason that we did that dungeon first was is because Osfala will actually give us a sand rod. Yes. We'll have to go get back. We'll have to take it back to Ravio and rent it or buy it. Yep. But that sand rod will allow us access to the desert palace, which in turn will allow us access to all the dungeons. Well, the sand rod won't, but we'll be able to get to any dungeon we want to. It opens up the floor. Yeah, it opens up the whole world to go to whichever dungeon we want to. So between the sand rod and that master ore that we achieved, that's why we chose to do Thieves Hideout uh-huh. first in this game. And now that we beat Thieves Hideout, this wraps up part 26 of A Link Between Worlds.